Before we carry on with our analysis of the non-income determinants of demand, I want us to look closer at the difference between a change in quantity demanded and change in demand. Graphically, the difference between the movement along a demand curve from one point to the next, the difference between this and a shift of the demand curve. Now you'll see that economists make a big, diff big thing of this difference. And it is important for our understanding of economics, but it can be very confusing. The way I remember is to say, let's concentrate on price. If there's a change in price, it leads to a change in quantity demanded. And a change in price can be shown graphically by a movement along the demand curve. We know from the law of demand, a decrease in price leads to an increase in quantity demanded. We move from this level to this level, decrease in price, increase in quantity demanded. In other words, move from movement from this point to this point on the same demand curve. So price, quantity demanded, a movement along. If anything else changes, any of the other factors that determine demand, if any of those changes, there's a shift of the demand curve or then a change in demand. Another way of remembering this is to say that a change in whatever stands on the vertical axis, price in our case, this changes, there's a movement along the demand curve, if anything else changes, there's a shift of the demand curve. So, you just have to remember one, the effect of a change in price. In symbols, a change in quantity demanded, graphically a movement along the demand curve. That's all you have to remember. Put it away somewhere. Remember it. Price, quantity demanded, price, movement along the demand curve. If anything else changes, a ch change in demand and a shift of the demand curve.